talking all about some things that you can do, 10 specifically things that you can do to help prepare yourself for back to school and those first few days before back to school. So these are the 10 things that I suggest you do before the first day of school. Now, if we're being completely honest, I definitely have some back to school anxiety, anxiousness, nerves, excitedness this year, more so than even I had last year in my first year. This year I am staying at the school that I'm at, but I'm also teaching at a new school. So that adds an extra level of things to figure out and stress. I'm also getting married in October and we just bought a new house. So there's a lot of different things going on right now that have me nervous and anxious and are affecting how I'm feeling about back to school. So I sat down and wrote a list of some things that I could take care of now before school starts so that I'm ready to start the school year and ready to handle everything that's coming after the start of the school year. So here's my list of 10 things that I am going to do to help me feel more ready to go back to school. Some of these things are things that I'm going to do like in my house to help me get ready. And then some of the things are things that I'm going to do at school to help me get ready. So we're going to start with the three, the big three that are like at home that I can do to help me get ready. And the first one is before we go back to school, I want to deep clean my house. I want to clean out some cab cupboards. I want to vacuum furniture and do a really good clean of my house because I know once back to school starts, I'm A, going to be too tired to do it after school at night and B, I'm not going to want to do it on the weekend. So if I can get it nice and clean right at the start of school and it's just little tidying up that I have to do during that first month of school, I think that will really take a lot of stress off me. It will take be it will be something else that I don't have to worry about, especially when I have all those other big life events coming after that. If I can make sure that my house is spick and span, as spick and span as it can be before I go back to school, I think that will help in the whole stress department of what's going on at home. The other thing that I'm going to do to help me at home is I'm going to do some meal prep because there's nothing I like more than coming home from a day of teaching and being able to pull something out of the freezer and it's all ready to go. So I'm gonna make some different casseroles and some different sauces and even just things to go with other things so that some of the meal prep is done and I don't have to come home and the dreaded question of what are we gonna have for supper? Oh man, I hate when my fiance texts me and it's like, what should we have for supper tonight? Drives me nuts. So I'm hoping to get some things prepared in the meal department and also baking so that I have things to take in my lunch like muffins and cookies and all of that kind of stuff so that it is something else that I don't have to worry about that whole first month of school when I'm getting back into the routine of everything. Speaking of routines, something that I have tried to do in the past and will try to do again this year is when I'm getting into those like last two weeks before school, I start getting back onto the school schedule. I start waking up consistently at the time that I wake up during the school year. I try to eat during when my lunch would be at the school year. And I try to, if I'm going to do work, I work from nine o'clock, till 3.30. If I'm prepping in my classroom, I try to be out of there by 3.30, 4 o'clock so that I'm getting into that routine of going to school and what it is like to go to school and how my days are different when I have to go to school and compared to what they've been like in the summer when I'm obviously not at school. So those are the three big things that I'm doing at home to help prepare me for, for school. Now, some of the things that I'm doing in my classroom to help me prepare me for school. The first one is I am getting my teacher binder all ready to go. So in my teacher binder, I have class lists, seating charts with their grade keepers. I have timetables, student information is all in my teacher binder. I'm getting that ready to go for the entire year. So my seating plans go month by month and they're my grade keepers too. So I'm printing those out for the entire year. My lesson plan, sheets I'm doing until Christmas so that I don't have to worry. I don't have to get to school and realize that I don't have a lesson planning sheet for the next week. So doing all of that printing and organizing of my teacher binder I'm doing now. And I also would really like, and I don't know if this is going to happen, but I would really like to get my outcomes put into our online grade keeping system. I don't know if that's going to happen. That would be an added bonus, but for sure getting my teacher binder all ready to go for sure until Christmas and some stuff I will have ready to go till the end of the year because it's just a matter of copying four co or 12 copies instead of one of like my seating chart stuff. So that is one thing that I can do right now and get me prepared for a long time at school. Another thing that I am thinking about now before I'm in the classroom is my routines and procedures. And I highly suggest that if you are worrying about school that you also think about this right now because you don't want to be changing them halfway through the year. So take some time, write down what you think your perfect classroom management 
would look like, how your perfect classroom would run, and then think of how you can put those into routines and procedures. So I'm not really changing anything from last year, but there are a few tweaks that I'm making and I have those planned out now and I have them all written down now so that I don't have to think about them as I'm worrying about everything else that is going back to school. I just have to present them to my kids, but I already know what I'm doing. In my school, we need to do year plans every year. So I am doing that now. They're usually due like end of September, beginning of October. But by then I often feel that that is when I am like most exhausted. The like hype of the new school year is worn out. I'm exhausted. The kids are still loving it and they're still behaving, but I, my body is just physically tired. So I am getting my year plan done now. I did one last year and there's not much changing. I'm gonna have a whole yearly plan with me video. So make sure you stay tuned for that and how I plan out my year and how I use my year plan. So that's something that I'm gonna do now in the summer when I'm not worrying about lesson planning, every all the lesson planning and all of the management and stuff in my classroom. I'm gonna sit down and hammer that out now. The other thing that I am going to hammer out now is my sub plans and my sub tub. We, our school requires us to have emergency sub plans for each class for I think three days. And there's a lot of revision that I wanna do on mine from last year. So I'm gonna get those done as well now because again, it's not something that I'm gonna have the brain space for or have any desire to do at the end of September, beginning of October. My brain, my energy will be elsewhere. So your plan and my sub plan, my year plan and my sub plan slash sub tab is all things that I am going to do now before the first day. Another thing that I would like to do before the first day of school, and I didn't do this last year, but since I'm teaching in two schools and one of them is a new school for me, I'm going to get like a about meet the teacher letter ready to go where I teach. We don't do like meet the teacher night before school. So at this new school that I'm going to, I want both the parents and the students to have some extra information about me. So I am going to get a uh, meet the teacher letter ready to go. There's lots of templates, both free and paid on teacher pay teacher and I'm just going to use one of those so that I can share some information about myself with my future families. Next comes the big one and that is the lesson planning. I my goal now whether or not this will actually happen is completely different but my goal is to have my first week to two weeks of lessons planned before the first day of school because I know I know myself well enough that at those end of those first days of school I am going to be so so tired i am not going to want to lesson plan so if i can get enough lessons strung together to get me through to the middle of the first month of school i really really think that will help me just with the whole adjusting back into the school routine and managing my the home and managing school and doing all of that at the same time if i can have my lessons prepped so to help with the lesson planning i'm also thinking of some bigger activities and projects that we can do during those first two weeks of school that are engaging for the kids, but that are a little bit easier on the planning side for me. And they're not like teaching a new song every day, but some things that are gonna go and carry on a little bit longer. And the last one, tip number 10, is to, during this back to school period, I really, really, really am going to try to give myself some grace and do something that I want to do for myself. Teaching is, I know I'm preaching to the choir. Teaching is not an easy job. And it's, I find it's a huge transition from going from summer break back to school. So I'm going to allow myself to not have the neatest house. I'm gonna allow myself that sometimes we're not gonna eat the healthiest meals. And I'm gonna do things for myself, like going for massages. Sometimes I let those things slip during the back to school season, having baths, going for walks. I tend to let all that stuff slip because I feel like there's so much else that needs to be done at school. And this year, my goal is really that I'm not going to let all of those little things that need to be done at school take away from my mental health and my self care and all of that and just my overall well being. Because I truly believe that it matters more how I am feeling as a teacher than if my presentation kit for the next day is perfect with all the clipboard. To, for me to show up for my students and be the best teacher that I can be, I need to take care of myself first rather than putting fancy clip art on one of my lessons for the next day. So those are my 10 tips of things that I'm doing and I suggest you do before the first day of school. If there is anything else that's like a routine or ritual that you do before the first day of school, leave it in the comments because I'm always looking for new ideas. And if you found this video helpful or useful or interesting, make sure that you like, subscribe and share so that other people can find this content and get the helpful information. Until next time, see you later. Bye. Thank you.